I, I wrote a column about free college, actually. Um, and the way I'm going to try to answer all the sub questions here is to just say, he, he, just give you my view on the on the issue, which is that college in the long run, like in the long run, now I, I wouldn't do something radical because that's not, you know, I I think. I would push for radical change, but over a long time horizon, not a short time horizon, let me put it that way. And I think that if you look at American history, the key, and this is not my insight, this is Claudia Golden and Larry Katz in their wonderful book, The Race Between Education and Technology, um, basically lay out the case that the reason why America rose to economic supremacy in the 20th century was because it was the first country in the world to invest in mass secondary education to educate almost everybody in high school. So the high school graduation rate 100 years ago was 14%, and now it's over 90%. And that's a radical change, but it took a long time. And the reason it happened was because the Industrial Revolution was dawning in the US, and we needed a bunch of people who had basic literacy and numeracy skills to work in factories. And so there was so much demand for these skills that private educators opened up small schools in towns across the country. And then these towns said, look, if everyone's going to these schools, instead of people paying tuition out of their own pockets and saving up money, why don't we just create these schools and tax everybody to finance them? And that was the public school movement in the US. And European countries had this funnel that gets very narrow at the top, where only a few people get to go to secondary school. And we got everybody there. And so we really advanced much quicker than other countries. And, and, and so that was the key to economic success, Golden and Katz argue very persuasively. And What's happened over time is that other countries have gotten wise to this and they've caught up. And so when we've tried to push into higher ed, we pushed, it's nowhere near universal. Only about 35% of people have a bachelor's degree among people aged 25 to 34 today. And other countries have caught up and even exceeded us. So countries like South Korea have a much higher share of people college educated than we do. And so I think right now we are losing the race that I think in a hundred years, in many countries, college will be universal, not high school. And we'll say, we say it's crazy now that everyone would get a college degree. Well, it was crazy a hundred years ago that everyone would get a high school degree, but now everybody does. There's no law of nature saying that, you know, people ought to have 12 years of, of education and no more. We're living longer. Work is more knowledge-based. It's harder. It takes longer to get to the frontier of knowledge where you're useful in some profession than it used to be. So why not? Why not spend more time in school if we're going to live 20 years longer than we did when people were going to high school? It's not crazy at all. I just think it seems crazy to do it in the next five years. So my perspective is in the long run, we, we ought to be thinking about universal college education. I really do think that. I think it would be radical to do it with a plan like Bernie's right away, but it's not as expensive as you think to make public college tuition free. Like free college could mean like everyone gets scholarship, everyone gets paid to go to school at any school, even the ones that charge $50,000 a year. But if you just sum up the math, like zero out tuition at all public universities and colleges in the country, it would cost about $90 billion, which is a lot of money, but it's not that much money. It's, I mean, it's not that much compared to what we're already spending on higher ed. We're already spending something like $60 billion on higher ed. So you could get like a third of the way there just by repurposing a lot of that money and then just kick in a little extra. I mean, our defense budget is way, way over 90 billion. So it's actually not as crazy as you think. It wouldn't solve all the problems because lots of people would drop out. So I think the goal ought to be not free college, but universal college. And I think we ought to take 50 years to get there or 40 years to get there. So whatever we need to do to get there, that would be my end point. And then we have to work backwards from there. Thank you.